This is my second video on the full moon and the Guru. What really happens on every full moon is the enlightened masters, the yogis, the siddhas, the rishis, although they live in another dimension, they come to the earth plane on this day in order to bless the human beings so that they can receive spiritual blessings. The earth plane is suited also for performing certain ritual and meditation practices. So the Siddhas come here on full moon day in order to perform those rituals. The earth plane is not all that bad, although it has become corrupt by many alien races, the invisible as they are who have tried to colonize this plane. And they have corrupted the human genetic substance mm -hmm. so that we are condemned to a limited understanding and the life of an animal through this animal body and the animal brain the brain is based on an intelligence which is supported by sugar. When we run out of sugar, our intelligence is gone. So the earth plane in itself was uh, conceived for a different purpose as a living library, as uh, Barbara Marcianiak would put it. The full moon days are important because there is a breakthrough on these days. The enlightened beings are there to help us, particularly the full moon of the Guru, which comes next month, where I have programmed to meet my people in New York and in San Francisco, is a very important one. you can accomplish a great deal of things on this full moon day. Make sure to go to these events if you can. And if you don't, at least be prayerful. I have said that Guru in other traditions are the messiahs, the prophets, are the founders of certain traditions, like the Sikh tradition, they also revere the Guru. The Buddhist tradition revere their lamas. So you can visit them, get in touch with them on this day. It will do you immense good.